incident rooms there is also concern about two more prostitutes missing from their usual haunts in Leeds. Two more people to keep tabs on in Britain's longest running fully active murder inquiry. So far police have interviewed no less than 50,000 people, taken 12,000 statements and still the police can't get all the help they need from the people who inhabit the twilight world of prostitution. Chrissy Brown is one of these surviving victims. I saw uh, this Tracy Brown, she didn't look uh, 15, she looked about 19 or 20, you know, she all dressed up. And she walked in slowly up this lane, I thought, oh, you know, uh, she's, she's probably one of these prostitutes. And I didn't remind that the Susie must be full of prostitutes. <laughs> I hit her with a branch or something, threw her over a wall. And I climbed over the wall and I was, I was, I was thinking of bumping her off and this boy said, stop, stop, it's a mistake. I said, no, I said, oh, I'm sorry, you'll be all right, I'm going now, I'm not coming back, I'm going now, you'll be okay. But go down to my car, then a car came up the, up the road and I saw it stop at the top of the road, so she must have climbed over the wall and they took her home, you know. Um, she can't have been seriously injured because she would have still been behind the wall, you know. I mean, watching, uh, watch the rest of that documentary about you. Do you think it was fair or was it biased? Well, did you attack that Marcella Claxton, a black girl? Yeah. Yeah, because they said that they didn't know whether to believe her or not. So it was you. Yeah. And the Ripper came at his next victim 60 miles away across the Pennines in Manchester. A post-mortem showed that days after the murder, the killer had returned to mutilate Jean Jordan's body still further and drag it to a more open position. Jean Jordan was just... Did that worry you? Uh, a little bit when they come round questioning people that are working now, you know. They couldn't prove who's got the uh, five-pound note. On the night you were arrested, were you going to attack the girl you were with? Of course I was, that was the whole point. In the other days. So you were on the mission then? Yeah, I was on the mission. Yeah. Well, that's the thing about you, you know, you're going to have to get the question one of the nine times, but it was only eight times, really. When that weird side jack of the crime, you know, when he sent the tape, did you ever listen to it? I heard it on television. You play it on the TV, you see. I said, I, I, I said, thanks, thanks to God, you know, because you're guiding everything, you know. At the time when I believed, you know, that it was a miracle. I, I, I knew that I believed that God had done that and got him to mislead them and everything, you know. No, I already believed I was being uh, protected, you know, so it, it, wasn't, it wasn't a slight distraction for the police to be going up the north east, you know, it wasn't all that important.